Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. I hope everybody is having a good start to their new year. And I just wanted to say thanks for hanging in there when I took a break. I wasn't feeling well and I'm on the mend. Yay! Thanks for all your well wishes. So I'm going to do a fun video today. Let's get started and I'll show you the creative ideas I have for using these stamps on altered Rolodex cards. As a lot of you know, I love paper dolls. I love to create them. I like to make paper doll kits. I love making paper dolls out of magazine images and different things, drawing different heads to put on magazine bodies, any kind of way. I can make paper dolls. Um, the paper babes, uh, paper doll dies. I love those. Anything paper doll just makes me happy, happy, happy. So um, these are the Julie Nutting rubber stamps and they're just darling and they make really cute dolls. And I didn't know that they came out like in 2017. Um, and there's a whole group of people that are making tags and decorating them with the Julie Nutting paper doll stamps and um, exchanging them, doing uh, paper doll exchanges and things. So once again, I'm kind of late to the game, but I discovered these probably about eight or nine months ago and I put them on my Amazon wish list and I just want to say a, a heartfelt thank you to Tammy for Christmas. Uh, Tammy sent me some uh, Julie Nutting paper doll stamps and I'm so excited to get started using these. So what I think I'm going to do with these this year is to uh, make some videos using ideas that I have for uh, using these stamps and decorating them. A lot of people already have those videos out there but I've got great ideas too so I'm going to do some of those. I'm going to use them in my art journals. I'm going to make a um, a journal. I'm not sure what style, but I'm going to work on that. Um, that's going to be nothing but Julie Nutting paper dolls. So I've got. I'm going to work on that, and I'll show those ideas as I create them. And but today to get started playing around with them, I think I'm going to do something even um, more fun and different. My quirky take on things. Um, Last year I started doing altered Rolodex cards and I'm going to make three different altered Rolodex cards using the Julie Nutting stamps I received from Tammy. So let's get started and have some fun and I'll show you what my little mind is creating today. So I call this altered Rolodex cards and you know Rolodex is a little Rolodex card that goes on a Rolodex for putting addresses and whatnot. These are more really memory decks style. They call it memory decks and it started by Heidi Swap. Um, so what I'm starting with is three different dies to cut out um, memory decks cards. So these are the ones that I'm going to use and this one I also received from Tammy from my wish list. Look how cute that is. I love the border. So I'm going to use these three as my bases and I'm going to go ahead and cut those out of um, some heavy duty cardstock. And my sister gave me a nice pack of cardstock that is uh, different colors of skin tone so that's going to be fun to play with also. I chose three colors so the girls can look different and what I'm going to do is um, stamp each one in a different color of skin tone and then I'm going to re-stamp them in um, on different pattern papers to make their clothing elements different and it's all going to be fussy cut and layered on top of each other. I'm using my Ranger Dilutions um, block. This is their journaling block with that edge. I show this all the time in my journals. I'm using that as my um, my stamping block. Um, Prima Marketing does make one that is for the Julie Nutting paper dolls that square with a handle, which is super nice, but it's also kind of expensive. I mean, it's definitely something I couldn't afford to buy. So I use this instead and it works good. So um, if you have that on hand and you don't have the stamping block, you can always use your Ranger's Dilutions journaling block. So I'm stamping in archival ink in coffee and I just inked her three quarters of the way down because I know that's all that's going to fit on my Rolodex card and stamped her. So I'm going to do that to each one and I'm going to fussy cut that out. Then I'm going to stamp it again on pattern cardstock. I'm also going to stamp it again on a color brown colored cardstock or whatever color I choose to do for the hair because I want this to be super layered. So 
I'm going to do that and fussy cut them out and then I'll show you the next step. For things like the clothing, I'm using, this is from uh, Daphne's Diary, and um, this has got some beautiful flowers. I'm going to stamp over this, and I'm going to make the clothing out of these flower images. I just think it's really bright and cheery and pretty, and it'll make pretty clothing. This, too, that would be pretty for um, using the stamped areas of the clothing. So I'm going to use that instead of just regular pattern paper. So I inked the part of the dress in a a nice deep black and see if you can see the image that I stamped it over the flowers and then I'm going to cut it out. So here's my piece of cardstock that is um, a lighter color for skin tone but I did go back over it with some colored pencil just to do some shading and then I cut the hair I stamped the stamp again and I cut the pieces of hair out of in a brown and then I did some alcohol marker and colored pencil. I popped up the hair that's on top. The little piece of hat is out of the uh, floral design and I popped that up too. And so here's the image that I cut out of, stamped and cut out of the Daphne's Diary with the floral background. And look at what a gorgeous dress that makes. When I put that over it, look at how cute. So pretty. And then I'm going to do a different one, I think, for her waistband. So here they are so far. They're coming along and look, it just looks so cute layered and with the uh, paper out of Daphne's diary. And then I did a, take a colored pencil and made some shading on it. And then this one I've done with um, alcohol markers and colored pencil. But the colors, this the pattern here came out of Daphne's diary as well. And then I just did some colored pencil work and I'm going to take a dip pen and ink and add some more design to it. But I'll show you that later at, after I put them down on the Rolodex cards. So I have one more to go and then uh, do the Rolodex and then show you my next idea for what I want to do with these three girls. Here are the cute layered girls that were super fun to do. Look, the jacket is separate. I did it on watercolor paper and I used watercolor paint to do the shading. On her dress, I used colored pencil. On her hair, I used uh, paint pens and colored pencils to really bump up her hair. They're, they're really cute. And then on this one, I'm going to do some pen work, but I'm going to wait till I get it on the card. So the next thing I did was to take those three dies for, um, for memory decks cards, and I cut one for each girl. And this one is going to be in the back, so she's going to be right in the center. This one's going to be on the left, and this one's going to be on the right. So when the Rolodex cards are on my little Rolodex file, you're going to see the girls layered. So that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and glue them down to their cards and then show you my next step. Here are my three Rolodex or uh, Memory Dex cards with the girls glued in place. And then when I layer them, one on top of each other, you're going to be able to see all the girls like that. So it'll look really cute in my little Rolodex drawer. But now what I'm going to do is uh, do some fine detail work. So I'm going to add things like rhinestones and bows and pen work. And I'm going to add on each one's going to have something different. Like I may put a bird on her head. I'm going to put flowers and I'm going to put a saying about girlfriends that when you flip it, you'll read the whole saying. I'm going to put some lace at the bottom of this one and just jazz them up and do my fine details that I always do on my paper dolls. Do something fun in each background, add the words, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. I love using dip pen and ink. So here is a dip pen with a nib a fine point nib. I like to use um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay White Ink. This is a nifty little thing that my mom made me for Christmas. It was a little jewelry box, ring box, and it had this cute lid on the front. And I removed the lid because this lid is actually going to go on the front of an altered book that I'm working on. So I'm keeping that for something else. But she made this cute little area here where I can stand up my Bombay ink and dip into it without the bottle falling over and I can put my nibs here. So isn't that cute? Mom made me that for Christmas. So what I'm going to do, 
on this girl, I'm going to do some pen work. So I'm going to use my dip ink, dip into it. And I'm going to come in here and do some white over this blue. So I'm going to add some white details just to make this look lacy. And Doc P.H. Martin's Bombay ink is great because it's very, very, very white. So it'll stay white. And so look at that cute detail in white. I was going to go crisscross, but I kind of just like the stripes. But then you can also come back in and do things like um, up here. up here on this little peplum part of her dress and where it shows where you stamp that image go back over it in white to make a little it's got the dot dash you can just follow over it in white and look at that cute detail it makes in white and then maybe I'll do my cross hatching in here I love adding these kind of details. Look how cute. Now that is cute. So I added my white details with my dip pen. So here are my three um, memory decks card or altered Rolodex cards, whatever you want to call them, and I'll show you each one. So this one, I have a saying on it, life is not a fairy tale. If you lose a shoe at midnight, you're drunk. And I put a shoe out of a magazine and then used gold paint on it. I did her little um, fancy pen work on here, gave her a necklace and earring. Um, those little gems are from diamond paintings. I'm sure you all have seen those diamond paintings. Um, Mimi, thank you, Mimi. Uh, sends me some great stuff in Happy Mail, and she had a whole bunch of these little leftover gems from diamond paintings, and I love using those for making earrings and necklaces on dolls. So that's what I did with that one. Um, those sayings are actually Tim Holtz. They're from the um, Tim Holtz Small Talk ideology. They're stick-on little sayings, and this one is snarky, which is totally my personality, so the sayings are really funny. Um, this one, I meant to behave, but there were too many other options. And she's got some little rhinestones on her ears, too. Again, little diamond painting gems. The little butterflies I just cut out of um, a Daphne diary, Daphne's Diary magazine. I use little Jolie flowers to make the little 3D flowers behind her and then drew on the little stems and leaves. I put lace at the bottom of her dress, um, use some glitter paint on her waistband. So that's that one. And then this one, I love this one, so cute. I put a gem for her big earring and then a gem on each sleeve to make it look like a button on her sleeve that matches her earring. And then again, more jolly flowers and leaves and another little butterfly out of Daphne's Diary. And this one is, I didn't see anyone today, so I'm wearing this again tomorrow. Cute. So super cute. And so what I want to do with them is to put them in my Rolodex box. So this is my little Rolodex box. It kind of needs to be sanded and refinished, but... Um, it's a drawer and I took little dowels and I cut the dowels to fit and glued them into this and it made a perfect little place for all my Rolodex cards that I create. So I'm going to add my girls and when I layer them, my, my plan on this one was so that when you line them up and you layer them, you can see all three girls, one on top of each other. So that's, that was my plan when I saw these. And just another fun way of using those Julie Nutting stamps. Um, you know, I only used three quarters of the doll on each one and cut them off to put them on the index cards. 
And it was just another fun way of using them. They're fun to use on tags, in journals, all kinds of things. But I thought of, gosh, layer them on a Rolodex and have the Rolodex cards be layered so that you can see each girl. So that's my cute project. And when I put them in the box, I'm going to put the tallest one in the back, the one that the girl is in the center, and then the one on the left, and the girl on the right. And then look how cute that is sitting in my little box. So that's my project. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you again to Tammy for the Julie Nutting stamps for Mimi for my little gems. Um, the Tim Holtz ideology snarky um, comments I got for my birthday back in August. Um, and then also I got this beautiful index card die from Tammy. So I, I get some wonderful things from... My sister sent some things, too, for Christmas, and so it's just really great to have all these fun things that people send me, and I love creating with them and sharing it with you. So I hope you had fun. This was a cute project, and I'll put all the items I used in the description box below with links if you want to try this for yourself. So thanks for stopping by. Go make some art. Art soothes the heart. <music>